Hi everyone, in this 11th episode of the Do It Yourself series, we're gonna be talking about stucco and how specifically stucco traps water and any type of waterproof coatings that you can put on it to help it shed water better. All the spider cracking of the stucco is, is concerning and where you, get the, where you get the staining across the bottom of the stucco panel. Stucco is a drainage system, and so the water that's inside it is trying to get out, and so it's stuck at the bottom. There is no drainage strip or, or weep system, and so you can, see the, you can see the water draining off of that. And then when you look up at this face, you can see again a lot of spider cracking, a lot of staining coming from the bottom of the panel. The white efflorescence, the salt, it's evidence of water coming through the cement, bleeding the salt out, so creating this white staining. So if you see these white, white drip marks, white staining, you can just see it going all the way around. That's, a, that's an indication you have a lot of water going through the system. It's not necessarily an indication that you've got that you've got water damage, it's just that there's water coming through and you need to follow up with that. So kind of a kind of a before and after. This parapet had a lot of spider cracks and was coated with 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 a fairly simple coating, uh, one step above an exterior paint. If you look back, you can see what it used to look like. So this area, obviously, in this this elevation as well. The coating stopped at that corner. This is very faded, very cracked. Our cracks are very dark. They're starting to grow moss out of the crack. Even back into this bottom of this piece, you can see the dripping coming off of the, coming off of the soffit all the way down to the bark. There's a lot of water running off of this face. This stucco probably needs to be restored by now, uh, but we'll, we'll do some moisture, moisture meter readings of it and see. The stucco coating that we're talking about, there's, there's a spectrum. You can start at the low end of the spectrum with an exterior grade latex paint and then kind of work your way all the way up to a real silicone based coating that they're expensive, but the key with the, key with the stucco system is you want these coatings to breathe. If you seal it all up, uh, you'll just sweat your building to death. And so there's elastomerics, there's all sorts of different, different things in that spectrum. Um, 20 bucks a gallon to 350 bucks a gallon. So you decide, and it just also depends on how much weather it's getting. If this were on the coast, getting blasted with storms and salt water, I'd err on the, on the high side. You know, you can go low side and get three to five years. This has, this is a, a step above. It's gotten about 10 years out of, out of life, so that's good. There are some other coatings that are, that, that do not have good permeability. And so they're sold as a watertight coating. So think of you're wrapping your building in a plastic bag. Uh, obviously the humidity inside, uh, trying to breathe out, will just sweat the building. We saw that pretty common in the 80s on stucco buildings. They'd sell a stucco waterproof coating and it just made the process worse. So read that back label or get advice from somebody who knows what they're doing, not somebody who's selling it and uh, get some good permeable waterproof coating. Here's a good perspective. You can see the coated, the coated stucco on that lower level. The upper band hasn't been coated. You can see lots of little cracks cruising through there. But this, again, this coating is about 10 years old. So you can start seeing some cracks coming through the coating. The coating will give you extended life. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fix any wetness under that stucco but it'll, it'll help deflect the water for a short, a short amount of time. Depending on what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some moisture probes to see if the sheathing is wet underneath, see if the sheathing is mushy. So when we're probing, when we're sticking that probe in, we'll get a moisture reading as well as a pressure resistance. So if it's mushy, it'll just go, you know, and you'll go right in. So then it's not worth coating. If it's slightly damp, hey man, we can coat it and get some more life out of it. So it's, these are business decisions that, that you as the building owner need to make. Thanks for watching this episode of Stucco Inspections. In the next episode, we're going to show you how we test for moisture levels in stucco.
Be sure to subscribe on YouTube for more helpful tips and tricks for condominiums and commercial buildings, and be sure to click that bell icon to be notified every time we put out additional educational content. Thanks for watching.